Well, I said I would try to be more creative with my intros, right? Well, um, this is the best I came up with, so here you go. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Amon's Toxic Animal. Back at it with another video. And today we're going to be doing yet another versus battle. And if you are new to the channel and do not know what a versus battle is, it is a, a video where we do one movie against its sequel or remake or prequel or whatever. And uh, we determine which one's better. Um, and we might do triple threat soon. I don't know. Um, but today we're going to be doing the Meg versus the Meg to the Trench. But before we get into the actual video itself, guys, if you guys are indeed fact new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because number one, it's absolutely free. Number two, we're on the road to 300 subscribers. Just um, 19 away now. Really, how about you, boy? If you did subscribe, that also goes for people that have been watching my channel for a while and haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to like the video if you do like my toxic movie battles. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Same as case you want to upload, also do share the video because also help me out when we can have some more people join the toxic game. And do feel free to comment which one you think is better down below. Um, hang on, I'm taking a drink of water before we get into things here. And uh, so for this video, these are the following categories. So for the first category, we always have to have Rotten Tomatoes here as a judge, so the higher score. Um, score gets a point. IMDB, um, audience score, uh, uh, um, and then we move on to the categories that I created specifically for this one. Not all, though, because I use them sometimes in the other ones. Uh, use Meg's, uh, this category is use Meg's better, if that makes sense, or uses the Megalodons or Meg's better in the film. So that's the that's the that one right there um the better characters is another category the plot uh the comedy the gore and the one i enjoy more and i can see myself rewatching more so uh, those are the categories so yeah um <coughs> well with that being said let's get right into it shall we so first uh, category, as I said, is Rotten Tomatoes. And so these are the percents. So for the first Meg, the Rotten Tomato, the mm, <coughs> tomato meter right now stands at a 46%. And as for the Meg to the Trench, the it stands at a 28%. So with that being said, I forgot to get my pen. The Meg gets the first point in this toxic movie battle. So they are one kneel right now. Now into the IMDB. Uh, it is actually a tie. Both of them have a ranking rating of 5.6 out of 10 from IMDB. So with that being said, we're going to give half a point. So for each team. So half a point for the Meg. And then uh, ha half a point for the Meg to the Trench. Uh, Meg is still in the lead, by the way. Then we move on to the audience score. So for the audience score for the original Meg, it stands at a 78%. And then for the Meg to the Trench, this currently stands at a 90% on, uh, on the audience score. So Meg 2, The Trench, and The Meg are both tied up right now. Excuse me, I just burped. All right, then uh, then we have the, next, the first category of judging the movie by myself, and that is which movie uses The Megs better. And I will say that I think the first Meg uses The Megalodon more to its full extent than this one does, but not by much, though, because... The, the first one, I feel the Megalodon was the center villain, and as for Meg to the Trench, 
you got some human villains in here and then you got some creatures underwater that you saw in the trailers so for the uses the meg better i'm going to give the first meg a point uh the better characters or the better slash character development so all right the, yeah this counts character development too so i will say that the character development is indeed better in the meg to the trench does it have the better characters yeah i would still say so because out of the new characters that get introduced, I think the uncle character's cool, and I like his character, and you don't want him to die. But as for the other new characters, eh, they were alright, or you didn't care if they lived or died, to be honest. So, the Meg to the Trench has the better characters, so it gets another point. It is neck and neck right now. Which movie, now the next uh, um, next uh, category, is the plot. Which movie has the better plot? And I am going to actually go with The Meg. Because The Meg 2, you know those movies that basically have more than one of the original creature in the sequel. Basically, like for example, Alien and Aliens. Then you also got Predator and Predators. Uh, I'm trying to remember any other ones specifically. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones, but I can't think on the top of my head right now. So, it kind of goes into that category where the Meg gets the, the um, point because I think that the plot is indeed be a better and more... It's not really original, but it is more unique, I think. Uh, out of the two, but it's still kind of generic. Now, the next point, uh, uh, next category is the comedy. Which one had more laughs from the theater from me or from me watching it at home or whatever? And honestly, I'm going to go with the Meg to the Trench because there were some moments, a lot of moments in this film that cracked me up, especially from like DJ's character and Mac. I thought those two were really funny in this movie. And, um, the Meg has, certainly has its moments that make you laugh, but it's not anything amazing, like, oh, <laughs> it's so funny, you know? And this one, I feel like it doesn't have that either, but it has moments where you do laugh, go, ha, <laughs> that was kind of fun. So, uh, the Meg to the Trench gets another point. Then we have another category, and it is the gore. And since they're... PG-13 movies, both of the movies are quite tame with gore this time around. So, honestly, I'm not going to give... Uh, I, I would say none of them. I would say they would both get half a point. Because I think the gore is still quite tame for the PG-13 movie. Because it's just not anything big and it's mostly cut away. They have to keep it PG-13. So, it gets a... Uh, the, they both get full points. And then the final category, which one would I personally enjoy more or would like to rewatch more? So, for me, I'm going to have to go with Meg to the Trench. I can't wait to rewatch this when I get this at home. Because I've had the Meg Blu-ray for years. It's somewhere over there. But it's just, like, I never rewatched it much. Uh, when it's on TV, sure, I'll watch some of it. But then I'll probably switch the channel anyways. So for me, I'm going to give Meg to the Trench uh, another point. So, with that being said, those are all the categories. And according to my list, and judging off my list, I think that the Meg to the Trench is better. But um, I'm not the only one judging this. Be sure to leave your thoughts on which one you think is better down below. And uh, before we get to actual ending of the video itself, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because number one, it's absolutely free. And number two, we're on the road to 300 subscribers. Just 19 away now. Really help out your boy if you did subscribe. It also goes for people that have been watching my channel for a while and haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to like the video if you do like my t uh, toxic movie battles. Don't forget to ring the bell for all notifications of so you know miss case you upload also do share the video because also amount and do you feel free to uh comment like i said which one you think is better down below but before i end it i will would like to say i still think that 
the Meg uh, first soundtrack is not the Meg like the Meg Hey Mickey theme song is a banger still though. All right, now with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.